Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. My name is Brendan Plays. This is NXT, and this is two weeks away from NXT TakeOver, the first ever TakeOver event. I can confirm now, the first one will be called NXT TakeOver Fatal 4-Way, because our main event will be AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe versus Apollo Crews and versus Hideo Itami. What a match that is going to be. That's our main event to take over. More about that in a moment. But first, this week we have Austin Aries going one-on-one -on -one with Ty Dillinger. We have Jason Jordan going one-on-one -on -one with Dash Wilder of The Revival. That should be a good contest between those. A bit of a sneak peek of what to expect at TakeOver. And we also have the Vaught Villains in action against Blake and Murphy. Now that will be a good contest as well. And six woman tag team match. We have... Nia Jax with Asuka and Charlotte taking on Bailey, Becky Lynch, and Carmella. Of course, Charlotte and Bailey. They will meet at NXT TakeOver for the NXT Women's Championship. Now, that I am very much so looking forward to. And our main event this is our one and only match today because it is that big. It needs all the focus in the world. Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, a sneak peek of what, to see, what we will see at NXT TakeOver. Two of the very best in NXT, they meet here tonight. What a match that it's going to be. Dillinger gets the upset victory over Austin Aries. I was not expecting that at all. So that's a big victory for them. And we also have a singles matchup. Dash Wilder getting a victory over Jason Jordan. So the tag team champs rocked a little bit there. Tag team action as we have Blake and Murphy and Vaude Villains. It is the Vaude Villains with a victory there. And our women's matchup here tonight, Carmella, Lynch, and Bailey. They'll pick up the victory. Time for our featured matchup here tonight. Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles, the NXT champion. I am looking forward to this one. We've seen these two guys battle away in the past. Uh, you go back to when Samoa Joe debuted at our last special event. Our one and only NXT arrival. Samoa Joe came out destroying AJ Styles and it's been on ever since between the two. Hideo Tami's entered the frame and snuck in and kind of taken away that number one contender spot away from Samoa Joe. But now Joe gets his chance. He'll have an opportunity at NXT TakeOver at number one to determine if he truly is what, what he believes that he is. That is the best in NXT, the, you know, the best in the world in his mind. He believes that once he conquers NXT, he's going to go on and conquer Raw or SmackDown, wherever they, he will end up. With Samoa Joe here tonight, he'll have a chance at the champ, and if he gets a victory over the champ here tonight, obviously that's going to build a hell of a lot of confidence and momentum for him heading in towards the upcoming NXT TakeOver special. Fatal 4 match. He's been dealing with Apollo Crews. A bit of rivalry has been brewing between those two. AJ Styles, on the other hand, has had to deal with Adeo Itami. Now, they have to both forget about those two men and focus on each other. Styles versus Samoa Joe here tonight. That is our NXT champion, AJ Styles. Winning, of course, the NXT Championship at NXT Arrival, defeating, well, now our current WWE Champion. Isn't that crazy to think? Our current champion, Finn Balor, was involved in the NXT Championship matchup just a couple months ago. Styles defeated Finn Balor. Maybe one day we need to see uh, Styles and uh, Finn Balor versus each other. Right now, though, Styles versus Joe. Here we go. This one's underway, and straight away, Styles. Almost taking Joe over the top rope this time he does with a right hand sending Joe to the outside. Obviously a lot of history between these two in such a short period of time. There's plenty on the line right now. I've lost a lot of confidence and a lot of momentum like we touched on. But uh, just to get a chance to one-up each other. Who is the better of the two styles coming out of the gate on fire there? And Samoa Joe nearly going head first into the steel steps out there. But Joe counters back. Oh, a big clothesline. And Styles is down. So a ripper of a start to this one so far. Joe and AJ Styles. And uh, Samoa Joe gets back in the ring. Waiting for Styles to join him in there. Obviously, I don't think Joe really wanted to go to the outside that early on. But AJ Styles forced his hand. And now Styles. Oh, can't quite connect as Samoa Joe counters. And uh, AJ Styles is taken down. Styles back to his feet now with the right hand. So Hideo Tami and Apollo Crews are the other two men to look out for in this situation at uh, NXT TakeOver. A fatal four-way match for the ages, really. I mean, we've seen all four of these men just beat each other up for the last few weeks. It's really what is right right now. You know, oh, Styles with the powerbomb. 
And he's going to pick him up again and go for another one. He's going to go for a third. What power there by AJ Styles. And uh, great uh, form there to be able to hang on to that and still connect. So Samoa Joe is a big man and AJ Styles showing the, the versatility right there of his, of, uh, his moveset. Now Styles to hold. Off Samoa Joe, going to bring him into the middle of the ring. What's he got planned now? This time, a suplex, and doesn't connect, doesn't really follow through with it. Just tossing Joe away, or dropping him down, I suppose. And now, AJ Styles, from behind, look out! And again! Samoa Joe taken down, and the cover now. AJ Styles has come out of the blocks on fire. He is really dominating this match right now. Well, Samoa Joe has barely had a chance to even breathe or think about what he's going to try and do because Styles has been all over him so far. Obviously, Apollo Crews has uh, been trying to deal with Samoa Joe over the last few weeks. Samoa Joe um, sparking the rivalry, really, because coming after Apollo Crews after their matchup. And, uh, well, since then, I mean, those two have just been battling away over the last few weeks. AJ Styles, obviously, has had to deal with Hideo Itami since Hideo Itami became the official number one contender. Oh, insecure there by Styles on a... Well, a bit of a lean down Samoa Joe on his knees there. An opportunity for Styles to capitalize. He did. Now hooks the leg again. A chance to win. But Joe will kick out and one. So ever since Hideo Tabe became the number one contender, he's been coming after AJ Styles as well. Obviously, they had a big matchup for the NXT Championship not too long ago. And uh, that match was ruined, unfortunately, because of uh, Samoa Joe. And uh, Polo Cruz as well was out there getting themselves involved. So, yeah. So that match really kind of uh, was spoiled there. So now we'll have to wait until... NXT takeover to see who really got the better of the two out of the, or who got the better of the two out of that uh, the combination there. And now AJ Styles sent in the corner there with a power bomb by Joe. Now rolling Styles over and going to try and wear him down a little bit there. But the foot was underneath the rope. The referee telling Joe to break it up and calm down a little bit, hold it up. And now Joe has Styles and uh, AJ Styles meeting the canvas face first there and. Uh, all of a sudden, Samoa Joe has got himself back into this matchup. Styles in complete control, and Joe just planting down Styles with authority there. And uh, taking Styles off of his feet. But Styles able to kick out at two, and he's going to have to because uh, Samoa Joe is uh, looking very good right now. But for Joe, though, even if he does defeat Styles here tonight. Well, it's not going to earn him an NXT Championship victory because he's going to have to do it at Fatal 4-Way. And potentially, Joe may not even be in involved in the decision as perhaps AJ Styles will not be involved in the decision. Styles potentially could lose his championship without even having a say in the result. And that is a scary proposition for our first ever NXT Champion, AJ Styles. I'm sure he would love to hang on to that championship for a long time. Many have called for Styles to perhaps move up to the main roster because of what we saw with Finn Balor. Obviously, Finn Balor was involved in the NXT Championship Tournament Final, and AJ Styles defeated him. Finn Balor won Money in the Bank, moved on, and became the WWE Champion over on Raw. Many have said, look, Styles... He should step up and go to Raw and take on Finn Balor. And because, you know, AJ Styles has beaten Finn Balor. A lot of a lot of us, you know, and probably myself included, believe that AJ Styles could actually defeat uh, Finn Balor and become the next W Champion because, you know, well, history proves that he can. So there's a lot that AJ Styles has to think about. How long does he want to spend on NXT? How much time does he want to devote to becoming the best NXT Champion that he can possibly be does he have half of his mind set on moving up or is he completely completely devoted to NXT that's a question that AJ Styles will probably answer for us at Fatal 4 if Styles can somehow pull out a victory in that match I think Styles is here for the long run Styles a count of two there on Samoa Joe and Joe will kick out but obviously Cruz, Atami and Samoa Joe the three top guys here at NXT all in one match it seems like a very, very impossible task for AJ Styles to win and come away as our champion. I just don't know if Styles can do it. A victory here tonight, though, will certainly give him the confidence that, hey, I can do this. You know, I think uh, AJ Styles has proven that uh, he is the best here in NXT. 
But Samoa Joe has gotten the better of him in a few instances that they've had against each other. And I think Styles kind of needs this that one little victory over Joe to kind of believe in himself a little bit that he can beat him. Styles right now with a suplex off the top. That might be the move to do it. And that might be it for Samoa Joe. The hook of the leg right now. That left leg is hooked. And Styles will only get a counter too because Joe does kick out. Well, very nicely done there by AJ Styles. But uh, Samoa Joe not done yet. And uh, more has to be dealt with here with uh, AJ Styles and Samoa Joe. Joe, though, with a kick to the face of Styles, able to get back to his feet now. And uh, here comes the onslaught here by Joe, taking down Styles. Samoa Joe, this is his chance. But Styles quickly putting away that momentum that... Uh... Oh, wait a second. No, hold it on. I thought he was going to stop Samoa Joe on his tracks. But Joe able to hit back now. And Styles in the corner. And now, uh oh, we might be going off that top rope once again now. Samoa Joe has... Oh, no. He's going to kind of lay him down on the, the ropes there. And now the boot right to the face. And Styles in a little bit of trouble now. Joe dragging him in. Dragging him into the middle of the ring. Rolling him over. Samoa Joe. Is that enough to put Styles away? No, the shoulder is up at one. And Joe, you can see a little bit of frustration on the face there. Perhaps he's just kind of thinking about what he needs to do. Perhaps thinking about perhaps setting him up for a big move and what a power slam right there wow that is very very effective styles is not really moving that much joe's trying to lug around this uh, dead weight and the boot right to the head of styles and now aj styles is starting to realize what samoa joe is all about well, it's fair enough that joe can kind of blindside him or attack him after a matchup and get the better of him Samoa Joe beating him fair and square in the middle of the ring is what it is all about. And Joe needs to prove that right now that he can do that. He can beat the champ. You know, since Samoa Joe has arrived at NXT, you know, I've been very impressed. I think Samoa Joe has all, all the potential to be the champion and be the top tier star here in NXT. But, you know, I think sometimes his frustrations get the better of him. Sometimes... You know, he's not willing to wait and earn his victory. He just wants to get it quickly. Styles with a kick there to Joe, taking him down. Joe just wants to destroy his opponent and get on with it. But uh, sometimes when it's a long-tier fight, I get the feeling that Joe may just not have the patience to kind of hang around and try and earn that win. Oh, wait a minute. Joe has the steel chair. Uh, you don't want to use that chair, I believe. I think you might get yourself in trouble. You don't want to get a disqualification there, Joe. The chair is not back in play, though. Styles took it off Joe, and uh, now Styles is going to head back into the ring. Samoa Joe trying to use whatever tactics he possibly can to try and take Styles down, but I don't think he was really thinking about the long game here. He realized, you know, I don't know if he realized that uh, if he used the chair, he would have got disqualified there, and his chances of beating Styles would have been over. AJ Styles would have won the match. And that would not have helped Joe out at all. So a big mistake there by Samoa Joe. But uh, luckily enough, AJ Styles... Well, I think Styles probably could have just received the chair shot. He would have won the match and been able to walk away. Um, but uh, instead, he decided to take the chair off Joe and avoid it at all costs. Joe now has Styles. Launches him against the ropes. Here comes Styles. And Joe not doing anything there. Deciding to let Styles kind of walk away from that. And now Styles trying to pick up Joe. And Joe is taken down belly first into the mat. And now Styles, what has he got planned here? Styles wants Joe up. He might be setting him up for something big. AJ Styles now, look out, here we go. The Styles clash, no. Joe countering, face first, down goes Styles. And that uh, face busted into the mat there. And now AJ Styles into the corner. Joe, what's he got planned now for Styles? This time, picking him up to the top of the rope. Uh-oh! Look out! There it is! Muscle Buster! The Muscle Buster by Samoa Joe. If he can get to the cover now, it's all over. Joe wasting a little bit of time here. Is it valuable seconds? Now the cover, pressing down on Styles. The counter two, and Styles gets the shoulder up. Wow, Samoa Joe had the match won. I just got the feeling he wasted a couple of valuable seconds. You cannot waste any time with AJ Styles. A phenomenal athlete like Styles, he can kick out at any instance. Oh, oh, 
Styles trying to hit a suplex, trying to hook the arms there of Joe. Joe outpowering Styles and blocking it from happening. Joe now has a chance to really capitalize and go on from here. He's hit the muscle buster now. This is his moment. This is his time. He needs to capitalize here and make sure that he gets this victory. We talked about it a moment ago, but he has to earn the win. He didn't get the victory with the muscle buster. Does he has does, does he have the mental ability to kind of put that aside, put that away, and come away with the win here? Joe back to his feet now. Styles setting him up. To throw him into the corner. Here he comes, Styles. Gonna take Joe to the other corner. Joe with the counter. Joe, no, knees to the face there of Samoa Joe. Here comes Styles. Missile drop kick off the second. AJ Styles now in the corner with a big flying forearm. Samoa Joe is down in the corner. AJ Styles now. Here he comes with a big boot. Samoa Joe in trouble. Now Styles. Heading to the top of the rope. AJ Styles. Here he goes. Oh no. Joe getting out of the way. Unable to capitalize AJ Styles. He did all the hard work. But Samoa Joe got himself out of harm's way. Now. Turning that into a neck breaker there by AJ Styles. Samoa Joe has taken a hell of a beating here. A chance now for Styles to win. Styles. What has he got planned here? He's just trying to continue to wear down Joe. He had this match won. If he connects with that move off the top, I think he was going for the 450 or you know, just going off the top there. If he connects, it's over. But uh, Joe surviving and keeping this one alive. He kicks out there again. And what a match so far between these two we're seeing. Still can't pick a winner though. Samoa Joe was moments away from winning. Now Styles has launched a comeback, and I was going to say, you know, how will Joe react from not winning a match? Can he come back from this? Does he have the ability to kind of work his way back into this matchup? Joe now off the top, and oh wow! Launching the, he, the boot right to the face of Styles with that big spinning kick, and off the top as well, Samoa Joe showing a bit of his athleticism there for a big man. That is very, very impressive. Styles gets the counter two there on Joe. Well, Joe doesn't seem to be too faced so far. It's been close, but he's still very much so in this matchup. AJ Styles, though, you might get the feeling he might be one big move away from winning. Here's what he was looking for before. But Joe counted last time. This time, he hits the backbreaker. And now, Styles heading to the top. Here we go again. AJ Styles up the top of the rope. Here he comes, perhaps. Waiting for his moment. Waiting for his time. Here comes Styles! Hooks the leg! AJ Styles! Is he gonna do it? Samoa Joe gets the shoulder up! And AJ Styles is in disbelief. Well, that is incredible from AJ Styles. And Samoa Joe found a way to kick out. How the hell he did that, I don't know. This is exactly what we wanted to see from Samoa Joe. A bit of resilience here, a bit of fire. A bit of passion here from Joe, and willing to work for this victory. Samoa Joe, just trying to wear down Styles, take a bit of a breather, and work his way back into this one. He's, he's certainly been very impressive, Joe, but Styles, you'd have to say, has got the better of the two thus far. And Joe, if he's not careful, he could lose this match very soon. One big move from Styles we thought was going to be it. He launched off the top of the 450. Now, Joe, oh, with a suplex. He's grabbing the side of AJ Styles' body and just launching to the other side of the ring, using his power there. And now Styles, he has to try and regroup. Samoa Joe, this might be his last chance. His last chance to kind of work his way back into it and try and defeat Styles here. Because Styles, the last, you know, few minutes of this one, and... The big, you know, the big opportunities in this match, the big swinging key factors, majority of them have gone AJ Styles' way. Styles kicking out the muscle buster, you know, and hitting that big top rope move. Joe fired back with a kick out of his own. Now Samoa Joe off the top himself. Styles crashing and burning off the top, and his body was almost broken in half from that move by Joe, the suplex off the top, Joe the fireman's carry now, planting down Styles, and now Joe is fired up, and he's about to win this match, is he? Styles is down 
on his back, not moving, and Joe decides to pick him up. Now Joe, from behind, German suplex. Oh, we've seen this plenty of times. The full Nelson. And now again, Samoa Joe, another German suplex. Both shoulders are down. AJ Styles in real trouble now. Joe, he can't get him because Styles somehow dug deep and found a way to kick out. Samoa Joe with the suplexes and still Styles stayed alive. How the hell is Styles doing this? Samoa Joe grabbed there by Styles who can't take advantage. Now Styles picks up Joe. Here's trouble now. Oh no, Joe countering with a couple of shots there in the face of Styles. AJ Styles now look out, look out. A powerbomb. Oh, he's going to go for three. Is he? Has he got enough left in the tank to hit all three? There's the second. There's the third. AJ Styles now heading back to the top of the rope. Again, Styles. What is he going to do up here now? He's going for it again. Yes, he connected. Hooks the leg. He's got it now. Styles. No. Oh, my God. How does he do it? Samoa Joe with the shoulder up. Well, launching off the top again, and yet again, it doesn't grant him the victory. AJ Styles and Samoa Joe putting on a classic here, but one of them has to give eventually. Samoa Joe has taken an absolute beating. Styles, can he put him away? Samoa Joe still has a bit of fight left. And Styles taken down. Now Joe from behind. Oh, here we go. The rear naked choke. It's in. It's in now. Will Styles tap? Will AJ Styles tap out? AJ Styles. No. Samoa Joe releasing the hold. But he may have Styles passed out here. Joe now converts it into a pitting predicament. Styles in trouble. The rear naked choke. And he kicked out again with a shoulder up. Oh, my God. Styles. Getting the shoulder up and staying alive in this matchup. This is incredible from these two men. Samoa Joe probably thought he had it. But now Styles has to try and come back from that. Samoa Joe has a chance. It's been all Styles for the last majority, well, probably the last third of this match. Now Joe, though, has a chance to just change this momentum. And bring things back into his favor. He's just slowly wearing down Styles. Probably taking a bit of a breather himself. He's been just, just been full on between these two. And he wants to try and keep Styles down. He needs to try and slow Styles down here. AJ Styles over the counter. And now kicked in the midsection there on Joe. Look out. No. Samoa Joe countering. Sweeping him off his feet again. Is that enough for though, though for Joe? No. He's going to continue to wear down Styles. Oh, an uppercut there by Styles after the counter. And now Styles picks up Joe. Suplex. Well, more of a brain buster, I think. Samoa Joe, his head crashing into the mat a bit harder than usual. And now Styles. Are we about to see it? Are we about to see it? AJ Styles now. We haven't seen it throughout this match. Is he finally going to connect with a Styles clash? Converting it into a cover. Styles, both shoulders down. And Joe can't kick out in time. Samoa Joe has been defeated by AJ Styles. The champion has knocked off perhaps his toughest challenger at the Fatal 4-Way event at TakeOver. What a match between these two. AJ Styles somehow found a way to win. How? I have no idea. But AJ Styles is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. And he'll now head in to the TakeOver event, full of confidence and momentum. The champion has defeated one of his toughest competitors. He's dealt with Hideo Itami. Now he's dealt with Samoa Joe. Perhaps he's only got to really prove himself against Apollo Crews. What a win, though, for Styles. And what a match is going to be. NXT TakeOver number one, Fatal 4-Way. It happens next week. And you can, of course, see it right here on Brendan Plays. What an event it's going to be. And uh-oh. Well, 
whilst we were watching a few of the highlights of this match, Samoa Joe got back to his feet and he started laying into the, into the champion again. And now Joe, he's not finished yet. Well, this is the frustration of Samoa Joe have talked about. Joe now with these suplexes launching Styles around the ring. Well, these two have already gone through a war. AJ Styles has nothing left. He survived. But now Joe is taking out his frustrations on the champion. Samoa Joe now connecting with a muscle buster. Well, he got one in the matchup. Now he connects with another one here after the match. Well, what is this going to prove for Joe? He lost. He got beat by Styles. And now he wants to kind of get a la the last say, I suppose. You know, Joe got caught out with the Styles Clash. You can see when the cover occurred, he kicked out probably about a three and a half count. And he realized now that, you know, just that half a second cost him the matchup. And now he's trying to get a bit of revenge. A second muscle buster there by Joe. Well, this is ruthless. This is relentless here from Joe. And he's not finished yet. Samoa Joe's not finished yet at all. He's going to go for a third one, I think. Joe now. Styles in the corner. Well, he might be looking to try and take the champion out. He might try and beat up Styles to the point where he can't compete at Fatal 4-Way. A third muscle buster here on Styles. And AJ Styles has been absolutely destroyed here by Samoa Joe. Joe didn't win here tonight. But he's proven a point. Even though he couldn't get the job done. Don't count out Samoa Joe at Fatal 4-Way. He is still one man not to be messed with. He is a force to be reckoned with. And Styles will do his credit back to his feet. And now Joe, he was wanting him to get back up. Launching Styles over the top rope. And Joe just mocking Styles. Having his way right now with the champion. Just destroying him. Samoa Joe. What a statement he has made, ladies and gentlemen. This man is pissed off but he'll have his chance at revenge at fatal four way takeover ladies and gentlemen thank you so much again for joining us for another episode of universe mode if you did enjoy it please leave a like on this video It'd be great let's try and hit four likes to celebrate nxt takeover fatal four way four likes can we do it let me know in the comment section down below if you are one of the four that liked this video i hope you guys enjoyed this episode I apologize for the lack of Universe Mode in the last few days. It's going to be like this for the next couple of weeks. I'm very busy with doing some things. So Universe Mode is a little bit difficult to do. I hope you guys like just the one match format today. We're going to spice it up a little bit here and there with NXT. Some weeks will be two, some weeks will be one. Obviously with a big match like this, we've got to do it with one. We can only just focus on this one epic match. Anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you all next episode.